How to enter a ramp and soak profile on the F4T touchscreen controller. A profile is a set of instructions consisting of a sequence of steps that are stored in the F4T controller. When a profile runs, the controller automatically executes its steps in sequence. The step type determines what action the controller performs. Steps can change temperature or humidity values over time, maintain the temperatures or humidity for a specific time, or repeat a sequence of steps numerous times. At each step, the profile can activate or deactivate outputs that control chamber functions or other equipment. A step can also have the controller wait for specific conditions before proceeding to the next step such as waiting for a specific temperature or humidity value. Keep in mind that any mention of humidity here only applies to chambers with humidity capability. To enter a profile, you need to first determine what you want to accomplish. It helps to write out all your discrete steps in a list first. For example, we want to accomplish the following. 1. Turn the chamber on. Go to 10 degrees C as fast as possible. Stay at 10 degrees C for 30 seconds. Two. Go to 30 degrees C at a rate of 5 degrees C per minute. 3. Stay at 30 degrees C for 30 seconds. 4. Jump to step 1, which was go to 10 degrees C as fast as possible. Repeat this one time for a total of two cycles. 5. Go to 23 degrees C as fast as possible. Wait for the chamber temperature to reach 24 degrees before advancing to the next step. 6. End the profile and turn the chamber off. I've made the temperature range very narrow and the soak times very short here, so we can demonstrate the entire profile in this video. Most real-world applications span larger temperature ranges and have soak times of 30 minutes to several hours. You can enter a profile from the Profile Actions button on the home page. When you create a new profile, you have the option of assigning it a name. I'm going to name this Test 1. You can assign a password if you do not want unauthorized personnel to edit it. I'm going to leave this blank. At the log data prompt, you can specify if you want to log the actual data to a CSV file. I'm going to leave this as no. We will discuss data logging in another video. You can also enter a guaranteed soak deviation value. If you have guaranteed soak enabled in a profile step, then the step will not advance in time until the chamber condition is within the guaranteed soak deviation value. I'm going to set this for 1, which means the step will not advance until the chamber is within 1 degree of the desired set point. We will refer to this later. Now we are ready to create the step. Press options and then create steps. Step 1. Turn the chamber on, go to 10 degrees C as fast as possible, Stay at 10 degrees C for 30 seconds. For step one, we are going to select instant change for the step type. We can combine an instant set point change and soak time in this single step. The target set point is 10 degrees C. The time to stay at this step is 30 seconds. Guaranteed Soak Enable is on because we do not want the profile to begin the 30 second timing until the chamber is within one degree of the target set point of 10 degrees C. Remember, one degree is the guaranteed soak deviation value we previously set. We want the chamber to be on, so select on at the power prompt. We are done with step one. Now we press add step to enter the next step. Step two. Go to 30 degrees C at a rate of change of 5 degrees C per minute. Step 3. Stay at 30 degrees C for 30 seconds. For step 3, we want to change the type to soak. The step picked up 30 seconds from step 1, so we will keep it, since that's what we want. We will turn Guaranteed Soak on and leave the power on. Step 4. Jump to Step 1, 
which was go to 10 degrees C as fast as possible. Repeat this one time for a total of two cycles. For step four, we want to return to step one, which was go to 10 degrees C as fast as possible. This will be a jump step. We specify one for the jump step and one for the jump count because we want to return to step one for one time. This will give us a total of two cycles. We also leave the power on. Step five, go to 23 degrees C as fast as possible. Wait for the chamber temperature to reach 24 degrees before advancing to the next step. For step five, we use an instant change type and enter 23 degrees. The controller automatically picked up the last instant change parameters, so we only need to change the temperature in this instance. We will keep the other parameters. Step six, end the profile and turn the chamber off. The final step six is an end step. You have three choices for end action. User will end the profile at the same manual settings you had before starting the profile. Off will turn the control loop off. This is not recommended for reasons that are discussed in the manual. Hold will end the profiles at the values in the next to last step. This is more desirable. The only difference is we will turn power off. If your chamber has a three position temp or conditioning switch, it must be in the event one position to have the power turned on or off by the F4T controller. Now we are done. If you want to edit any step, you can select Edit Step Parameters to view or edit it. To run the profile, you can do this from the Profile Actions button on the home screen or Profiles in the main menu. Select Profile to see a list of stored profiles, then select the profile you want to run, which is named Test1 in this instance. If we select Run Profile, then it will start at Step 1, or we can select Custom Run to start at another step. We also have a choice of starting at a specified date and time with Calendar Run. We will select Run Profile now. Back at the home screen, we can see the target set point which is the temperature we want to achieve, current set point, which is the instantaneous set point in a ramp, and process value, which is the temperature inside the chamber. On the top, we can see the step number, type, and time remaining. Since we have an instant change of 10 degrees C and guaranteed soak is on, we will not see the time begin to elapse until the chamber reaches the one degree soak deviation value, which for this step translates to 11 degrees C. Now you can see the next step ramping up to 30 degrees C at a rate of 5 degrees C per minute. Here is the next to last step returning to 23 degrees C, beginning the 30 second soak time when the chamber is within the 1 degree soak deviation value, which for this step translates to 24 degrees C. After this step times out, the end step turns the chamber off. I previously set up the trending screen so we can view the progress. Here is an example of the entire profile. We will discuss the trending feature in another video. So now you know how to enter a ramp and soak profile. If you have any other questions, visit testequity.com slash contact and we will be happy to assist you. To see the complete line of test equity chambers, visit testequity.com slash chambers.